All right, review Starlight. I'm not going to go into spoiler territory with this review. I'll have you guys go watch this one yourselves, considering it's a movie. And it's only two hours long, so I feel like everybody's going to be okay with that. But let's not waste any time. So the 2018 series was pretty dang good. I gave it like a 7 out of 10. It wasn't anything that knocked out of the park. And it was a little... I guess it took me a minute to like really grasp it because it it can be confusing at times but it all comes together and makes sense nothing over the top visually songs are great perfect now come 2021 the movie chops and this movie whoo it was so good it, it was the most impressive and creative movie and I guess visual presentation that I've seen in like a couple years. It was like profound and heartfelt and like they 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 sacrifice so much just to become what they want to become for this ultimate stardom. And the movie pretty much picks up right where we left off, like spot on in 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 the series. And if you haven't watched the series, you need to watch the series. And but at the same time, they kind of sort of have a summary of it, but you might as well just watch the series. I know it's a little time consuming, and if you don't get the time, it kind of stinks. But you get you get all these like memories and and visual experiences and all the symbolism and everything that you need to so you might as well just do it the the ost and like the actual visuals that the studio did there were so many songs that were just so great with the battle scenes and i've never seen like a show that actually had um a balance of those as well as this one did which is really freaking great because it shows how much work and dedication they put into this. It was just beautiful. The, the like the idea of life being a stage performance and you know like it's it's not always going to be easy. Um there's going to be times where life's going to test you and things are just not going to go as well as you hope they do. And it's so realistic. I mean, some of these girls are like, they don't know what they want to do. And because this is right next to their graduation. And you got to do. It's, I mean, it's not, it's not about um, doing what makes you happy. Or when you want something, you know, the world universe is going to give it to you. It's more like finding like your own purpose. And... I think that's beautiful. Um, obviously, all these girls meet at like some crossroads, and they just, they're kind of nervous about what they want to do. But then their other friends back them up, and it's like, don't hesitate, do what you have to do, get everything done. Life's kind of stupid, but hey, that's just how it's gonna be, you know. And life's not perfect, and we, you just gotta fix it and finish it. And I guess you know, to that extent, and. I loved it. I loved everything about this movie. It's even if it was just a standoff. I don't. I mean, I don't think this is like a type of series for everybody. Don't get me wrong, but I do believe that if you loved the first or the the whole series, this one is gonna blow you away. It's gonna blow you away because I, for some reason, I give the first part a seven. I honestly gave this part a nine. I don't know why. I don't know what they did, but it closed everything off. Like I said, visual, story, everything. Less draft, which is beautiful, because let's be honest here. Who really liked the draft? <laughs> But yes, that's that's going to be my five minute review for this guy. Like I said, if you haven't seen this yet, go give it a view because it blew me away and I, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. 
So yeah, with that being said, I hope you all have a good uh, rest of your day. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.